Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Zuzana from CodeZuzana.com and in this week's video I wanted to talk to you about number one mistake you need to stop doing at your work. And I've been guilty of this myself but once I figure it out it significantly improved the quality and the speed of my work. So you now might be wondering what is this? And quite frankly, it gets as simple as making assumptions. And do not get me wrong, us as human beings, we would not be able to exist if we didn't assume that the sun is going to come out tomorrow or that if we take that permanent job, we are not going to get fired for, you know, unless we are given a significant reason. So there is one type of assumptions, but then there is another type of assumption that can be quite deadly to your work and this is what we're going to discuss in today's video. In particular, I'm talking about assumptions we make about information we receive, how this information is being understood, as well as how what are the people motives when they are interacting with you. So for example, the other day I had a chat with my brother where he told me a story from his work where his colleagues from the state assumed that he's going to take on a really big and urgent project just because he was the only person he's been working with in the, in the mother company and he thought he's also the only person in the mother company with this particular technical skill set. And that happened three days before my brother was due to two weeks holiday. So you can imagine what kind of a disaster this was. Another example would be, let's assume you are starting a new job and you feel like obviously you're new, you don't know what's going on and you know, people are uh, giving information and because they've been there for a longer time, you take it kind of for granted because they've been there for a longer time and you almost don't feel confident or comfortable, you know, being uh, asking any more questions about that and you just take it as a goal. Another recipe for disaster. Another thing is with senior leaders where people come to them for advice and because they think that they know better but quite frankly senior leaders they don't understand sometimes the uh, your day in and out as well as you do and sometimes you just may take their work for granted and it can turn in a total total utter disaster so what to do for it not to be a disaster well the thing is, I already kind of elaborated on that earlier, it's to start asking clarifying questions. And another thing I wanted to add here is that sometimes we feel like things are just obvious. And I came across these situations where people think that things are obvious, but maybe they had like just like a tiny small little doubt and they didn't ask. The question right and this is what I want to encourage you to start doing because if you already have a slightest feeling that something you might be potentially misunderstanding you have better chances of perhaps looking a little stupid when you clarify and I have zero problem with doing that because trust me when you then deliver and it's wrong you will look like well, pretty much a proper fool. So do ask a clarifying question. The earlier you can do that in the project, in the process, the better for you. So what are the best ways to clarify? So first of all, I would advise you to sum up everything that you heard and feed it back to that person. So for example, you can say, well, I understand we have to deliver 200 pallets, one uh, to downtown and 20 pallets to Upper East Side. And you will let me know the names of the drivers and the addresses tomorrow. Or you can say something along the lines, well, correct me if I'm wrong or if I understood this correctly and then rephrase what is it that you understood in your own words. This gives the other person an opportunity to either elaborate or correct you at the right stage and you don't have to feel like you are a fool. Another useful question that you can ask is what is it that you are assuming 
I know. So for example, I would use that question when I'm working on something that I've never done before and I'm working with someone who is a seasoned person in that, right? So someone who knows the job inside out. And this is a scary place to be because when you're working, when you don't know something inside out, when you're working with someone who knows something inside out, there is a lot of assumptions made on their end. So it is always good to ask that question and maybe have a chat with them and sit down so they can take you through whatever is it, whatever it is that is required for them to have in order to do the job successfully. Another thing that is um, important is to clarify responsibility. So sometimes we get into projects or assignments where there's multiple people working on that and there's perhaps not a clear line of responsibilities and with those situations I want you to take a bit of an ownership there and say okay so you are delivering this part of the project and I'm delivering this part of the project and what about the third part is that you or is that me so you just take an ownership and you assign this right away another point where what you need to be clarifying is about people's motives so sometimes um, you know there, there can be a lot of conflict or misunderstandings behind why are people doing what it is that they are doing or the way they are delivering work to you so here what it is that you can be asking is okay can you help me understand why have you taken those steps or what is the reason behind this particular action. This does not sound accusatory and this way you will be able to resolve and understand really what is going on. So this is it for today you guys. I hope you liked this video and I would absolutely love to hear from you. What is it that you are assuming at your work? And what are the assumptions that you've taken at your workplace and they caused you some trouble or headaches or even nightmare please let me know in the comments box below if you like this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe and as always be kind stay positive i'll see you next time